Welcome back to another episode of How to Turbo Your 4.0. The annoying way, I guess you could say, but necessary. You don't have to tune them if you don't want to, but it doesn't work out too well. So I'm working on uh, making a little, little dash here for some gauges. And uh, while I'm working on that, Jeff's going to get started getting this cam position sensor wired up. A little tricky, you got an added resistor, but uh, this guy will inform you. So, you, it looks like you have to add a resistor between the five volts and the sensor input wire. It is a thousand ohm resistor, so let's get on it. So guys, before we get into the cam and the crank position sensors, um, I just had to finish up that last coil pack. It was bothering the hell out of me, and I figured out a solution without getting pins. I extracted some pins from another sensor that had the same pins. I cut up with a X-Acto knife. I just cut the plastic until I could get all the pins. I left some pigtails on the wires and I spliced it in and snapped the pins into this clip so everything matches. And we're ready to go with the coils now. So, at the moment we're all waiting for, how to wire the crank and the cam position sensors. Well guess what, I got a secret for you guys. It's not really a secret, but it's a real helpful, tint, helpful hint, and our buddy Anthony Randazzo helped us out and showed me how to do it. He wrote us me a nice little diagram, and this works with both the crank and the cam position sensor. So if you see right here, this is our cam position sensor and I'm about to solder up the 1000 ohm resistor that goes in between the 5 volt supply and the cam signal. My plan for doing this guys, you can see I already got one done, is to wrap the resistor around the... You barely see it there. Yeah, it just focus, take it and, focus. and wrap it around the wire. I sh yeah, you just give it a little... Curl, curly cue on there. Holds up nice, and then you just hold your soldering iron underneath. Get that nice and hot. Not the best lighting here. Give it a little beater. Welding the wires. There we go. Just like that. Back at it again with the crank sensor. So as you can, guys can see, focus. Come on, you got this. Come on. If you look, we just wrapped it around the crank, five volt supply, and the sensor signal. And let's get to soldering. Is this the joke? No running allowed. You're not part of the turbo team. Until you're part of the turbo team, walk slowly. All right guys, it's all soldered up. Looking extra cute. Let's throw a little electrical tape on that to make me a little happier. And then heat shrink it. She's all taped up, ready to roll. Let's get some heat shrink on this thing and make it look like we were never there. She's sheathed. We're ready to get a full heater going. Let's get this thing started.
<laughs> Helps to turn the temperature up a little. There we go. There we go. This went down. You can get me one too. So guys, as you can see right here, I pulled the crank sensor wires through. You can see over here, let's see if you can see into the dungeon. But here's the crank sensor connector and I self tapped it up there. So it's easy to click on, click off and it's not in the way of anything else. So let's check out what Matt's doing over here. Well, well, well. So we're putting together our uh, DB7, DB37 harness. That's gonna go from the Mega Squirt box to the relay box. And uh, it's a little bit tedious, a little bit of uh, cramp in the rear if you ask me. I know there's easier ways to do this, but solder has been the age old, age old answer to everybody's question, so why not? If it fits, it ships. Same as welding, just a little lighter material we're working with here. Thanks to Matt, it's all wired up. Getting close to ready to throw in the Jeep. While I was doing, while he was doing that, I was connecting everything, the crank, and finishing up the five volt supply for the cam position sensor. And this thing, Mega Square, is basically wired up. We just have the starter and the alternator to deal with, and we'll be ready to roll. Another day, another adventure. Got the sweepest sweeping up. And I'm about to show you what I've done while the camera was off. Sorry guys, but didn't think this was important. So I didn't think it was important enough to film. We got, starting our engine bay, we got our alternator wire coming through. We got a ground from the engine to the body here. Got another one from the engine to the unibody here, because why not? And we got our starter wires ran. This is power, and this is the switch power to the starter relay. If you come over here, you can see, and it'll help explain everything. So here's the starter wire, goes straight into the power distribution block, and this, is our alternator wire which is coming to a circuit breaker and from the circuit breaker it's going to our power distribution block so super simple we also have the starter wire right here which is going to go to our starter button and it's going to get constant fuse power from our painless so a couple more things guys obviously the fuel system plug in a computer make sure all the sensors are happy and uh Looks like this thing is slowly getting closer to firing up. I'm excited. Matt, even though he's over there being a grump ass, he's excited. So while Jeff's fooling around with, you know, wires, I've been figuring out our fuel system. This is our air motive regulator. It is a 40 pound to 75 pound regulator. It comes with dash 10, whatever, 10 AN fittings, but these are O-ring. So we got little converters from 10 O-ring to 6 AN on both sides feed and uh, the feed from the regulator to the rail. And then underneath is our return, which this is a uh, dash four. We need a dash six. So we just got one of those on the way. Fuel cell is on the way, all our fuel lines. So in the next video, you'll see us putting the fuel system together and hopefully getting a computer plugged into the uh, mega squirt. We'll see. But once we get the fuel system out of the way, button up a couple other odds and ends, get the turbo back on, boost throttle lines, linkage, all that kind of stuff, should be ready to run. Everybody thinks it's ridiculous working on dumpsters. It's 
spending all this time, decent amount of money on them, but it's what we like to do, so. Tune in next time, guys.